welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my kitchen decorating and organizing video. This is one that you guys have been asking for ever since I mentioned I was going to do it in my kitchen spring cleaning video, which I'll link down below if you guys want to watch it. Quickly, I want to say a thank you for all the lovely comments you guys have been leaving on my videos and for all the ideas of what kind of videos you guys want to see. And I am writing them all down. I will be filming my bathroom spring cleaning video probably next week. And um, you guys seem to like the day in the life vlogs, so I'll be doing more of those as well. So if you're not already subscribed and you want to receive a notification when I post those, make sure you click that red button down below and you will be sure not to miss out on any of those videos. It's taken me a few days to prep for this video and I am really excited to be doing it today and I cannot wait to see what my kitchen looks like afterwards, so let's just get into the video. I find while organizing it's a good time to declutter and donate anything that I don't find I use often enough and as you can see by the looks of my cupboards there's a lot of stuff that I could be donating and also there's a lot of empty space being wasted above my cupboards. I find that the best way to start any project is to just dive in so I just completely emptied each of my cupboards. I started out with these cute little containers that I got from Target for $1.99. I found this container was the perfect size for the little items like baby medicine or the nose Frida. The boxes tend to take up a lot more space in the cupboard so I decided to cut out the directions for each one and then write the medicine name on the back of the cardboard and that way everything was just able to fit really neatly into this clear container and these containers are so cute and I just love the pattern and they're really inexpensive as well. The next containers are also from Target. They were $4.99 and they're super cute. You can find something similar at the dollar store, but I thought these were way cuter. And they're just the perfect size to help me organize Marcus's baby food. I fit his squeezy tubes in there, his puffs, and his baby oatmeal. I got another one for all his bottles and sippy cups and lids, stuff like that. They look really cute and they just keep the cupboard looking really neat and organized. The next tip is one that I stole from my friend Tabitha, which is to utilize the space above your cupboards for storage with decorative baskets or crates. Everywhere I looked, these crates were like $35 each, and I didn't really want to spend $105 just for storage. So what I ended up doing was buying unfinished crates from either Michaels or Ikea for only $10 each. So I just sanded them myself, wiped off the sandpaper, Make sure you put tons of paper down and wear old clothes because this stuff is a nightmare to get off of anything. I know, because I made a little mess. And then stain them using an oil-based wood stain. The color is dark walnut, and you have to be so careful with this. You want to make sure that you're wearing rubber gloves. And then with an art sponge, I just paint it on the stain. The longer you leave the stain on, the darker it will become. And you just want to make sure you get in all the cracks and everything with the sponge. On the inside, the wood was a little bit rougher, so I kind of ended up just sponging it into the wood. And then after a few minutes, I wiped off all the stain with a rag, and I thought that the color just turned out absolutely beautiful. It took a little bit of work, but I saved $75 by doing this myself. put things in the crates that I didn't tend to use very often like bread pans and cake pans and dishes that didn't get used much and it freed up so much space in my cupboards. Next I put everything back into my cupboards organizing as I went and even though there's still quite a bit of stuff in these cupboards I think it looks a lot more neat and organized and it's nowhere near the mess that it used to be. The next job I tackled were my drawers, which were also a mess. To organize these, I just brought a drawer organizer from the dollar store, so it's really cheap. And just even having one really helps the space stay a lot neater and not look so crazy. I think the dollar store is a great place to find things like this to help you organize. Another tip for people who live in a small apartment like I do is to get a utensil canister and gives you a little bit more space as well. I love decorating with plants in my kitchen, but I am the worst when it comes to keeping them alive. Even succulents, I kill succulents. 
I found this cute little potted succulent at Target for $3 in the dollar section. I liked the pot that I had better, so what I did was just pulled out all the fake succulents and put them in my own pot. And you can't even tell that they're fake, but they're definitely something that I won't be able to kill. I got this wood round from my wedding, but you can find them at Target or at Crate and Barrel. I just put a candle on it, some hand soap, and then the little succulent. And I think it looks so cute by my sink. I love this look. Next, I wanted to make everything look a little neater on top of my cupboards. And because I freed up so much space by using the crates above, I was able to store my Vitamix and I just instead decorated with some fake hydrangeas that I got at Michael's for $3.50 each. I don't normally like fake flowers, but I feel like hydrangeas look really real and you can get away with them. Then I just decorated my little coffee station with some cute paper straws and also put a cute shopping list pad on my fridge. Something I've been doing for a while to organize any grains or bulk foods is putting them in these cute glass jars with lids that I got from Ikea. This kind of gives you a visual of what you have in your pantry, but also they're stackable so it ends up saving some space. And I think that they just look really nice as well. I had a lot more little packages of things that I think I'm going to go back to Target and get another storage bin for, like the one I used for Marcus's things. And I am so happy with how my kitchen turned out. I think it's really organized and neat, but also it looks exactly how I wanted it to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys got some good inspiration for your own kitchens. Let me know if you liked it and want to see more like this by giving me a thumbs up and letting me know it in the comments down below. Also, do not forget to subscribe. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you all have a very blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.